doing. Sorry about that. I have a lot of reasons to celebrate. Hello everyone, my name is Hector Dewerber and welcome to the Case Day Update vlog of Thursday, April 27, 2017. And I feel like a king. Because I'm completely debt free. Now, what I said in the last vlog was that there would be a good chance that I would be debt free by the end of this month. And the last debt collector agreed that the last 823 euros would be paid off in full. Now, I'm still stuck with my financial guardian at my own request. As a matter of fact, when I went to my financial guardian uh, yesterday, he actually opted to write the letter to the court uh, requesting approval of me regaining financial independence. This financial guardian deal uh, is mandated by the court. But I opted out of it, I opted against it, because I would like to focus uh, on just gaining financial stability first and to really have an overview on what's coming in, what's going out and what's left. And he just knows that stuff much better than I do. So for the first couple of months now I'm going to keep him as my financial guardian uh, to create that overview and stability. And then in August when I have to sign a document uh, for the courts showing what we've done in the past year. Then I will send the letter to the court saying like, okay, as you can see in April, uh, we paid off all of the debts and we've focused on stabilizing my financial situation. And now we feel it's time to uh, request me getting financial independence again. And I'm fairly certain that using the document that I need to sign as proof to the court that they will instantly grant me financial independence again. So that's something I'm really looking forward to. I actually don't really need to have my financial guardian anymore, but it's still a very pleasant feeling that I don't have to worry about my finances for a little while longer. So yeah, financial independence. I've been walking around with a smile on my face for the past two days. I actually heard it two days ago that I was uh, completely debt free and everyone was just like, yay! So I'd say school. But the financial part isn't the only bit of good news that I have. There's been a lot of developments in the past couple of weeks. Um, for instance, um, TWhite229, he's known as that on Twitch. I know him, you may still know him as Shadow E, so I'm just gonna call you Shadow E. Uh, hosted a 1 vs 1 tournament in Mental Omega, and this was his second attempt at it. Uh, he, I remember him trying to organize a uh, tournament in 3.0 but that got cancelled due to somebody being an imposter and trying to get games uh, under other people's names but this tournament was a booming success and I actually pledged uh, 15 euros out of my own pocket towards the prize pool Martinos also pledged 25 dollars euros not really sure uh, to the prize pool as well uh, I did it mostly because originally I wanted to be a part of the casting team, but my family had other plans. It happened during uh, Good Friday and Easter. Uh, my family just had other plans for me, so I couldn't really fully attend the tournament, and thus I decided, like, okay, I'm gonna withdraw from it, but still have something uh, to bring in with a prize pool. So uh, I'll leave a link in the movie description. It's gonna be the first link uh, to uh, Shadow E's YouTube channel. He's posted almost all of the videos of the tournament on his uh, YouTube channel and as a bit of a uh, thank you as well I'm gonna put a link to Martino's YouTube channel in the movie description as well that will be the second link my own streams uh, I'm just gonna keep it over to open array and uh, mental Omega for now they're going fine uh, last Friday I was streaming uh, Open Array, and I actually had the pleasure of being the first one to showcase the new public release. And I've uploaded a couple of those games onto YouTube already, there's still two more matches that I have uh, that are scheduled. So um, go check those out. And um, last Monday I was part of Sosicat's stream. Um, 
and I did stream for a little bit, but you know, if I have five viewers and he has fifty viewers, then why should I bother? You know, I, I, I was still able to hang out, still able to have a bit of fun, and um, yeah, he was the not the second guy, but definitely not the first because I had dips on it. <laughs> and in terms of mental omega. Stuff is happening, you know. We're we're just having fun with the with the guys uh, of Mental Omega. We're just uh, chilling, we're just having fun. And I'm actually using Discord uh, for the uh, Mental Omega. Just if I have a co-commentator, because you may have heard uh, Mr. Jenner as my co-commentator. And occasionally uh, during the streams that don't get uploaded to YouTube, I have other people as co-commentator as well. That's purely because of Discord. And if you want to. Join the Mental Mega Escort. That'll be the third link uh, in the movie description. As for Rise of the Reds, unfortunately, uh, I did say that I wanted to uh, give equal screen time to uh, Rise of the Reds, Open Array, and Mental Omega. But when I announced my Rise of the Reds stream well on time, and I went live, there was nobody online. So I played. One match against the AI, another match against the AI, and there were still not not that many people online. I was just like, "Fuck it, I'm, I'm done with this." So for now, until Rise of Threats either has a new public version, which is the same type of public version as 1.85 or 1.86, not a forum-only beta test, then I shall return to Rise of Threats. With perhaps occasional a showcase live stream of uh, some internal stuff, but there's just not going to be much Rise of Threads content uh, for a little while. While well, Mental Omega and Open Array will still have the Fridays. As for Open Array, I've already said that I want to host another tournament. I said it last year that I thoroughly enjoyed the tournament that I hosted. And that if I would still be streaming uh, by that side next year, which was this year, that I would definitely consider hosting another tournament. And I've decided that probably the first weekend and the second weekend of July, I'll be hosting the second edition of my Open Array Red Alert 1 vs 1 tournament. And it's going to have the exact same rule set in terms of which country you can or cannot pick as last time. Because it was fun, it was different. And I like to be different. As for a Mental Omega tournament, uh, you know, I see that a Mental Omega tournament works on CNCnet, but I want to wait until 3.3.2 is out, and I want to wait until after my uh, Open Array tournament to see like how is the reception and uh, what has changed and such before I'm willing to throw in a tournament of my own. And Rise of the Reds, we'll just have to wait until the uh, next. Uh, proper public release until I'll see into that. The mod spotlights are also going really well. Uh, I finished uh, Crazy Mod uh, in the expected time that I would. While the first stream I just had no clue what I was even supposed to look at, so I kind of just messed around, didn't fully focus on the GLA. That's why you see a very heavily edited version of uh, recordings that I did for the GLA and the regular streams uh, for the USA and the China factions. I'm currently working on uh, Caddis Rules, I'm thoroughly enjoying that. It's really nice to just relive those old memories of the very, 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 very first mod that I ever played. And without that mod, I've said it during the stream and I'll say it again, without me having been introduced to Caddis Rules, I would probably never have known about the concept of mods. which eventually led me to looking for other mods, which eventually led me to Mental Omega, which eventually led me to streaming, which eventually led me to Rise of Threads, and here I am today, thanks to me being introduced to Kind of Fools. So, uh, this upcoming Sunday I'll do the Soviet faction, and the Sunday after that I will do the uh, Yuri faction. Well, there's only uh, one country, Yuri. I'll also do some bonus stuff uh, since... I believe it was Kaido's Rules that kind of introduced the Assault. Uh, it, it also comes with the Assault map pack uh, that I'll share during the stream, during the video. And 
just mess around with that a little bit just to showcase you what's what's what what is that about and after i'm done with uh Kainos rules i will head over into contra i've actually already been in contact with some people in contra uh, including some of the developers and they're really hyped about the uh, upcoming mod spot fights to a point where certain people are asking me like why aren't you already doing this why aren't you already casting replays and my answer to that is that I've never seen anything of Contra. I've always been just like, I don't want to look at this. I'll be honest, at the start it was more about like, I'm fully for Rise of Threats and if Contra wants me to do something for them, they should contact me. But, you know, now that I'm doing the mod spotlights, I'm open, f a lot more open-minded and I just want to broaden my own horizon with that. Um, I just wanted to have a look at Contra, uh, do it the same way that I did with uh, with Crazy Mod and with uh, CUC Holland back in 2015. And just look at what has changed, what is different, and I've already said, and I will just announce it in here as well, if I like what I see, I truly like what I see, you can expect occasional PvP streams and replay casts of Contra from me as well. So. Well, that's something you, you, you've got to uh, look forward to, but then of course keep your fingers crossed that I do like what I see. But with the little test that I did, I already do, so that uh, should be fine. After Contra, uh, in between Contra by the way, uh, while Contra is going on, I will have to take a quick break for a family trip. Which is the 19th of May. So I, th I think that the schedule was that I would do the GLA first, and then take the uh, the weekend break, so there's also no Friday stream in that weekend. And then after the 19th, the week after that, then I will do the USA and then the GLA. And after that, I will do the, I believe it was the second mo mod I ever played, which is Moomad's Rules. And th those streams are going to be a little longer, because every country I know has a lot more to offer than just one new unit or in case of you as a kind of rules two more units so I'm really looking forward to that I remember that I used to mess around with that uh, mod just build up a massive defense on the map Bay of Pigs that I would actually go to work and just leave the computer attacking me attacking me attacking me they wouldn't be able to break my defenses and I would come home and have like uh, 20,000 plus kills so, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. After uh, Moomad's Rules, that'll be another three weeks, I'm guessing. Uh, it's uh, CNC Untitled. They've actually uh, released their latest version quite recently. And they say it will be their last version. Minus uh, a few patches, perhaps. So, I'll be playing that version, of course. Just doing the same showcase that I will do with Contra and did with uh, CNC Holland as such. And after... Uh, CEC Untitled. I will have finished the original four mods that I plan to do for the uh, General Zero Hour mod spotlight. I will do a mod that I've already streamed numerous times on the channel, which is Red Resurrection. And those will that those uh, spotlights will only be of two weeks because they only have two mo uh, two factions. The Yuri faction is gone in that mod, so that's gonna be a quick one in comparison to others. And after that, I don't know. I've got a couple of mods listed, uh, once again if you have a mod that you want me to do then make sure to check out any of those uh, things and contact me there and if you have a, a decent mod for me to uh, look at then I'll find a point in time that I can do that. And in July of course I'll have to take a break from my mod spotlights in order to do the uh, Open Array Tournament and whenever uh, Metal Omega 3.3.2 releases. I'll have to take a break from the mod spotlights again to host my Metal Omega tournament. And basically, I think that until the end of the year, I have something to stream every Sunday. So back to the beer. Since it's a celebratory day here in Holland, uh, Case Day is a free day, a holiday for us, where we celebrate the birthday of our king. But he's still a prince to me because he doesn't have a beard, god damn it. And the city is just full of people having a beard, having a laugh, talking together, uh, selling their old junk. 
on a free market. I've already been outside, the weather is kind of like, it doesn't know what it wants because one moment you have sun and it's really nice and warm, and five minutes later it rains. So, it's not really a day that I want to be outside for a long period of time because I don't want to have to uh, hide for the rain every five minutes. And thus I just like really went uh, really fast uh, throughout the city today and then just rushed back home to record this vlog. Because I've been wanting to talk about me being debt free. I wanted to have a beer. And yeah, I already had a couple of beers in the, in the city. So <laughs> I'm already way ahead of you guys. But tonight I will be streaming after dinner after I'm done editing and uploading this video. Uh, we'll start at around 8 o'clock my time, which is 6 p.m. GMT, and it's gonna be Mental Omega. And I'm gonna be streaming until I'm just too tired or too drunk. But, eh. Anyway, score. Hope to see you all tonight. If not, uh, tomorrow we'll be streaming Mental Omega again, I think, given that I survive, given that I'm awake, given that I feel okay. And otherwise, Sunday for uh, Russia or Soviet Canis rules, not spotlight. Hope to see you then, hope to see you tonight, hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good day, have a good weekend. Skol. To close off today's vlog, I would like to give a massive, massive shout out to both Rayfon0123 and Paki for pledging anything at all. They both pledge $5 uh, per month. To my Patreon! Yes, I'm finally openly advertising my Patreon. And if you want to receive a massive shout out as well, just make sure to uh, check out my Patreon. will be somewhere below in the movie description. I'm fairly certain. And otherwise you can find it on my Twitch page. Um, there, will, there are reward tiers. Leading from just, hey, you're a good guy, to a shout out. To getting my own personal Discord server, access, uh, options to send in replays and join me as a co-commentator, and I will give special treatment to that uh, in video editing, or even a t-shirt with your name or your desired words on the back. So if you're interested, then it's open for you. Not saying that you have to, but hey, it would be nice. Because it'll only help me speed up the process of being able to upgrade all of my equipment and produce better streams and perhaps even more streams. So once again, Revan and Paki. You two other men. My name is Hector Doomember. If you enjoyed this vlog, then make sure to leave that thumbs up. Helps out a great deal. I hope to see you all tonight for the stream of Mental Omega with plenty of beer. And I'm already almost done with this one. Now I am. <laughs> or otherwise, I'll see you at any point in time. Make sure to leave a comment. Make sure to like. And check out the other links such as the uh, Mental Omega Discord. Martinez, oh, uh, Martinez's channel on YouTube and uh, Shadow East's channel on YouTube. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.